Y'all are going for the ultimate Grand Supreme. You have made it past the preliminary round, okay? Are you excited? What are you feeling right now? Tell me all of your emotions, your feelings. Get inside of your feelings, girl. Very excited. Very. <laughs> in other words, bitch, I'm nervous, okay? Because I'm sitting up here and you put that microphone all in my face, okay? I already know how you're feeling, girl, so. <laughs> We ain't even got to get to you, bitch. I got what you got, what's going on through your head, okay? So we're going to do a tongue pop competition, okay? Oh, see, that, that's what you got to do. You got to be ready for anything, okay? You need some juice? <laughs> Miss Terry, get my purse. I got a 12-pack in that bag, baby. <laughs> okay, so you ready for your tongue pop? You ready for yours? Go ahead, girl. This land was made for you and her and all those and all your friends and sister's friends. Okay, she was cute. Basic. <laughs> Little exciting, okay. I'm gonna let you make it though, girl, because you was nice and congenial and all that. You know, America loves a good girl, okay? Good hearted. You know, you give me, you go to church and all that. You celebrate God and all that. And you be dropped there gorgeous and doing all that thing. You get points. Don't you break my nail, girl. I saw you going for that nail. Okay. Cutesy bootsy. Not gorgeous, but gorgina. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Benny, get over here and stand in. Get up here right now. We need. They need some help. Can you do this, girl? Get it. Hold. Try it. Let me try. You're going. You're going to get. 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 Hold on. Get the nerves out. For, wait, girl. Wait, girl. Wait. I'm gonna need See, a practice ride. Don't be bad. I know, but close your lips and pull down on the roof, bitch. Like it's the only. Hit it, girl. So let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> hold on, no, hold on. Oh, oh, sh hold on, Miss Thing. So oh. Petey and Blake, y'all got me on an airplane, flew me all the way over here to uh, the city, <laughs> brought me in this room, and we didn't rehearse this. <laughs> y'all bitches always set me up, girl. <laughs> so you did all that parading around over there. <laughs> She was the girl at the pageant, bitch, that was third alternate, talking about, girl, I could have slayed that bitch. <laughs> you know who you was, girl? You was me in the comedy challenge. You swore you was funny, bitch. <laughs> I got back in the workroom, because, you know, since we're doing the untucked, girl, unedited, I said, they said, girl, how to go? I said, girl, they loved me, girl. <laughs> My jokes were fire, bitch. They couldn't take it, girl. I am so ready, girl. And then... Girl, I got up there to tell my jokes, bitch. I thought I was at Deaf Comedy Jam, bitch. I, I had done, uh, lived and laughed for every other queen, so by the time it got to me, I dropped all my cue cards. Oh my gosh, they're not numbered. I picked up all my cards, leaned over, and the rest is her story, bitch. I almost got my ass sent home, okay? That was you, girl, right now with that. Let's do it all together, you know what, ready? One, two, three! Get up here right now, because, bitch, if you say you can do it well and you come up here like these other queens, girl, I'm going to read the dead dog shit out of you. What's this in your hand? Phone. Okay, you look real nervous. Do you right? <laughs> Breathe, stretch, shake, and let it go. Wearing a pet. <laughs> bitch, the underdog always comes through, girl. She comes up there real nervous, bitch, and then takes off her herbal coat, and she be like, and the audience stands to their feet like that, girl. Just sit right there, too. Okay. The pageant's between y'all two. We're going to do on-stage question and answer, okay? That's my favorite category, all right? And two things are going to happen with me. I'm going to be so juiced up on Red Bull, I'm going to get up there and ramble and not answer the fucking question. Or I'm going to get up there and I'm going to be so together. It's going to be so concise. I'm going to win. So I'm going to get a perfect score. I'm going to get dead last. There ain't no in-between with me. Since you... Uh, uh, you have been appointed. People are going to think the pageant's rigged. Okay, so you're just going to stay right there. All right, we're going to start with you, stand up. Your question is, why every Monday do you watch Alyssa's Secret? One more time. <laughs> I want you to gather your thoughts, okay? Convey your message to your audience. Why do you, every Monday, Watch Alyssa's Secret. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges from up the street and around the corner, your good Judy, contestant number one. Hi. Oh. Every Monday, I watch Alyssa's Secret. 
for Alyssa and my eight-year-old daughter who is in love with Alyssa and wants to be you so much. Okay, points for the family. <laughs> She's eight years old, she's eight. and on, she, win, girl. You she's going obsessed in. with a drag race. When I said I was coming, she was very upset I didn't bring her, but she said as long as I get a picture with Alyssa and an autograph, I would be okay, because I went to Disneyland without her, which is <laughs> <just> bad. <laughs> so she's a very selfish mom, but that's all right. <laughs> What's your daughter's name so we can give her a shout out? Emma. Emma, I just want to say, baby, thank you for being a fan, honey. But I want you to make sure you get straight A's in your math class. Okay, you're at, uh, eight years old, so she's probably in first or second grade. Third. Oh, she's in third grade, okay. Make sure you get all your spelling words right. Keep studying. Get your education. Does she sing, dance, tap, dance, act, twirl? A oh, she watches Drag Race. She ain't worried with none of that, baby. She, <laughs> she said, I don't go to my dance class on Mondays. I'm at the house watching Drag Race. You let her watch all the curse. I shouldn't have cursed so much there. Do as I say, not as I do, Miss Emma. Yeah. And I'm not playing with you, girl. <laughs> you get your education. You do as I say, not as I do, okay? And I want you to watch Dynasty. Get your education. <laughs> Here's how you wrap it up. You just say, thank you for this opportunity. Then cut. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> Contestant number two. This is the bitch I swear she's winning, all right? She's like, girl, I have spent $15,000 in evening gowns. I have the best hairdresser in the business. Bitch, I done been rehearsing my talent for 10 months, girl. Y'all not gonna give me first runner up again. Okay, so your question is, how has Alyssa's Secret changed your life? One more time. Once again, how has Alyssa's Secret changed your life? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> I'm gonna take off two points. I'm gonna read it. Once again, the question reads, how has Alyssa's secret changed your life? Ladies, gentlemen, and judges for the third time. Contestant number two. Alyssa's secret has changed my life in the following ways. Beginning, middle, and end, here we go. <laughs> Mondays are a little bit happier. Also, the color red, the color white, and the color blue, because I am an American. <laughs> and under the Lord our God, I am free. Come on, bitch, you going in. You going in, bitch. You going in, girl. To watch any internet programming that I am allowed to, and for that I am thankful. Okay, let me tell you, you was winning me until you fucking said that. You was supposed to say it was the number one internet programming girl. You could have got brownie points. Now reword that. Go. I am free to watch the only worthy watchable keep internet going, show, Alyssa's Secret, on oh. World of Wonder. And, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe by clicking the link right below. Pete, can you put that when you edit it? Right there. Petey, don't worry. I got an understudy if y'all need one, okay? I'm gonna consult with my judge, but the final decision is mine. <laughs> Miss Allen, cover your ears, contestants, right now. All the way. daughter's eight years old. She's a Christian, too. She lets her kids watch Alyssa's Secret. Okay? She sure says drag addiction. She was very rehearsed. She gave, she spoke from the heart and was sincere. <laughs> this is on stage question, not evening gown. Unveil your ears. <laughs> Contestant number one, although your presentation was quite entertaining. <laughs> Your question left a little desirable to the mind, okay? Contestant number, 
Wait, what I say you were? <laughs> Shit, I fucked it up. Edit it out, okay? You're always fucking the script up. Edit those curse words out, Petey. Although your answer was sincere and heartfelt, I felt that you were very nervous. With that being said, I have made my final decision. I need both of you to please stand to your feet. Take a look at each other and say, I thank you for celebrating life. And let's all say love. One, two, three. Love. I can be Ruse Understudy if I need to be, okay? <laughs> Just make sure Matthew Anderson paints me and beats my hair and gives me a lovely gown, girl. Your winner of the ultimate Grand Supreme, the first annual RuPaul's Drag Race Con <laughs> Pageant winner on her way to get lots of pictures with drag queens. <laughs> drum roll audience, come on, give us a drum roll. Y'all get into it. <laughs> it's a tie! <laughs> you know why I made my tie? I couldn't make a decision. I'm gonna keep both of y'all all right, honey, because we need more fellow Americans and queen lovers like y'all in the world, and I thank you. <laughs> Miss Terry, give them something. We ain't got no tiaras, no crowns. I ain't giving none of my tiaras away, bitch. Y'all give Ellen another round of applause. I want to say, though, on camera, on camera, if it was not for this queen right here being a good friend to me, she said, girl, you look like a girl. I said, are you really telling me I look like a girl? I was offended, girl, because, you know, I was trying to be butch in my dance class. Bisexual. Bisexual. <laughs> Miss Ellen, you tell a story real quick, because we got to go real quick. Just tell it. The best story I can say is when we were doing her makeup, she would sit there in the bathroom, and I would just do a little bit. Of, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. She would not stand still, and she would never wear padding. She was real fish. She wore a snatched up little ponytail. Little bun. No, little bun. I was ballerina fish. Let's not get it twisted. I wanted to be super skinny, and I already knew I was a thick girl, honey. So I was like, I'm not wearing all that foam cushion on my hips and shit. Y'all gonna have me going out there look like and like a hippo, okay? I wanted my little bun, and then I looked back. I said, Girl, now look at me, bitch. Now in the broad daylight, fringe. I, you know, I still love my fringe, though, girl. All right, Miss Sally, here we go. Let's get out here get a picture. Let me walk over here down these stairs and be a lady. Girl, I was about to jump off over here. <laughs> Girl, you know when we really film this shit, I'll be sitting up in my sweatpants. We are live on location in some kind of ballroom <laughs> with fluorescent lighting in the Los Angeles Convention Center for the first annual RuPaul's Drag Race Con Convention Conflict Always and forever, Alyssa Edwards. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. And don't forget to subscribe. Everybody do this, and now do this one. And let's do choreography. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one. That's all. Thank you, guys.